Hi everyone, welcome to Chandler's channel. <clears throat> I'm Tracy and I'm your host. And this session is our topic of the week. And our topic of the week is Body Wisdom Part 3. So if that's what you're here for, stay tuned. But I'm just going to touch back briefly on our uh, previous topic of the week. Now, I wanted to move forward and do a different topic of the week. Um, but Whitehawk wanted to touch back on body wisdom. So that's why uh, we're uh, touching back on a part three. We're not touching back, we're going to learn actually for part three. So if you haven't had a chance to do body wisdom, go to body wisdom part one. Uh, in the topic of the week, there's playlists there. Topic of the week, um, body wisdom part one, body wisdom part two, and this is body wisdom part three. I don't know how good it would be if you did them back to front. Try. You might miss some important information, but hey, maybe in your life the cart comes before the horse. Because in my life, a lot of the times that's how it goes. <laughs> so um, let's go White Hawk. Let's go get White Hawk and see what he has to say or has to teach us uh, in regards to body wisdom uh, for our topic of the week. He goes, yes, hi, hello, everyone. He says, I have asked um, this little one to touch back on body wisdom. He says, simply because it is a very important tool uh, for you to use in your life. And it's like he's addressing you guys all as viewers or the audience. I just see like his big face great in yours, <laughs> addressing you all. And the reason, he says, I've asked you to address it for a third time is because I do not get the sense that you are heeding this call to listen to your body. And indeed, in the quiet and the tranquility, everybody's kind of quiet because, well, they know he's talking the truth. <laughs> he speaks the truth. Yes, I know I speak the truth, he says. From, from where I am, I can, I can see all, he says. And I see that you are not paying attention to your bodies. And, and um, it behooves me, he says. Yes, it bewilders me. It, it, it stresses me, he says, for I am giving you a very important tool that's going to help you get through the next few years, he says, by paying attention to your body. And so we're all sort of listening intently. Some of us thinking this is BS, and some of us feeling guilty because we haven't paid attention and well some of us having no idea really what he's talking about because we're, we're listening to this video for the first time yes it is very gracious of you to all to have come though, he says so in today's session he says I ask you to find a quiet space somewhere where you can lie down preferably Darken it down, he says, do what you need to do to make it your space, to make it comfortable for yourself, he says. I smell lavender in the air for some. I see it dark for others. I see it cold for others. Some are lying on carpets. Some just lay on the couch. He says, yes, that is fine, that will do. Now, what I want you to do is to really tap in, he says, to your belly into your belly, into your center, he says. Tap into right here, he says. Do you feel anything? Do you sense anything, he says? And uh, I just feel this really big thing that out of one of us, or all of us, Wow, someone's having a really bad 
reaction like they're gagging where they're going, you know, it's like a gag. It's not really a, a, a throwing up. It's more of like a, um, a gag or, yeah. He says, yes, that is right. He says, so for many of you, you will feel this sensation of needing to purge, of needing to release, he says, from this location. He says, and it will be essential that you allow this release to occur, he says. You as well, Tracy, he says, for in releasing all that ugliness, all that um, bitterness, all that juxtaposition, he says, that lay in here, he says, we, we free up a lot more ener energy, my children, he says. So as you lay there, releasing through gagging or other, he says, And I can see myself releasing, and I'm going like, yeah, I am not happy with you, White Hawk. Like, I hate this. I am not happy with you. And um, he goes, <laughs> as you are releasing, he says, give faith, he says, to the higher forces, to the higher consciousness, he says, that this is occurring for you, he says. For indeed, this is a, a great healing that is occurring for you. For it is allowing much of the old to dissipate, to allow for the new to incubate. So he says, be blessed children in the release. Release is good. So take care, take pain in knowing. This is good healing, he says, when we release via a gag or a vomit. So it's not even vomiting, it's just like a really vile gag or like a bleh. I can't even, can't even bleh. And um, he says, but you will know it soon, he says. My father says, I assure you, you will know it soon. So be patient with yourself, children. Relax. Take care of yourself. Allowing this to occur will allow the newness to come forth in you. Painstaking, yes, but necessary for the betterment of yourself, for the betterment of society, for the raising of the consciousness, he says, for the betterment of all involved. And he throws us a kiss and he says, God bless little ones, do this, and I assure you, you will feel much better after. And we're all like, oh my God, are you kidding me? <laughs> How can I feel better after? He said, I did not say during or before, he says. I said after. Go along now, little children. Do as I have asked for your own betterment. God bless. Thank you, White Hawk. How about that? Like, I am not fond of gagging or vomiting. I'm not sure there's many people who are, but like, I always say this, that healing is painful, but it's better than staying where we were stuck before. It really is, because even through the, the healing, it's painful. There are little cracks of light or little um, pieces of bliss that occur that get you through. It's like trying to lose weight, right? It seems like a big job, but then you lose that pound. And you're like, oh, this is good. There's the motivation. And you lose another pound, and there's more motivation. And next thing you know, it's been six months, and you've lost that weight, right? That little bit will keep you going. 
So as you heal, you'll keep going and you'll see that you're getting better. You'll see how your um, life gets better around you in little bits, little increments, but enough, enough to sustain you and keeping you going. So God bless little ones and all. Um, <laughs> good luck on that. I'm not looking forward to it. <laughs> Anyways, just know we're all in good company. Misery loves company, right? Isn't that what they say? So go forth and gag. <laughs> nice. <laughs> all right, so our next topic of the week um, is the law of attraction. Um, uh, I'm, I'm very interested in seeing what White Hawk has to stay, say for that. So join us for that, but of course there's the weekly reading. Um, uh, before that, and on that week there will be Canada Day, and there will be um, the 4th of July. So uh, lots to celebrate in, in the month of Ju July. Oh shoot, wait a minute, now instead of Law of Attraction, oh it will actually be the monthly reading for July. So sorry about that. And uh, I think July 1 lands on Monday. Hmm. Hmm. So this might be interesting. So you might get three readings in a week if you're lucky. So pay it forward, little one. I always ask you to pay it forward because you're getting this for free. God bless. Subscribe, share, like, comment. See you soon. I'm Tracy for a Chandler's channel.